here to learn just start typing use your keyboard type anything you know about even if you don't know just say I don't know that's fine today you're going to learn and in advance I am so sorry if I get disconnected I will try to reconnect as I told you discord is banned in my country I'm using a VPN so we should expect some uh, connection issues but let's hope nothing happens subject plus will plus infinitive mm -hmm. nothing sir okay what about others we have 29 30 people I mean 30 different answers 30 different opinions I invite everyone to start typing about their opinions to say something prediction in the future thank you flow mm -hmm. that's great others what else subject plus to be plus going to so future perfect not future yes we can say i am going to for example something but that's not future perfect i think grammar is i don't know in my opinion so why why do you think like that grammar is i think one of the most if you don't say the most is one of the most Future Perfect talks about an event happen in the future before another event. Mm -hmm, we can say, because I speak more than text. Mm -hmm. So even in, in your speaking, you should follow actually grammar, different grammar topics. But that's nice. Let's begin. Please be with me during the time. Be active. I'm going to ask you many questions. Make sure you are following them. So this is an upper intermediate uh, grammar topic. You need to have a basic understanding about future, about the tenses, about uh, to be verbs, have, has, I don't know, past participles. And at the end of this lesson, you will be able to talk about the past in the future and deadlines. But what is future perfect? Many of you said something. Let's just read it together. Let me use my highlighter. Future perfect is a verb tense used to describe an action that will be completed at some point in the future as our friend said before another time in simple words deadline when you're talking about deadlines for example you have a project for example your university in your college at university uh, they said for example let's search about something you're supposed to make a PowerPoint for that. And your teacher says, send me before, for example, November. Okay, send me before November. So that's your deadline. You should send, you have time until that point in the future. Let's focus on the topic, guys, in the chat. That's future perfect. For, you should say, I will have done the project by for example November by September but let's get deeper when do we use the future perfect who can tell me when when should we use in what situation in what occasion should we use who can tell yeah let's wait for people share your opinion that's totally fine you are here to learn Maybe tell something like tomorrow. Mm hmm. Anyone else? Uh -huh. For something we should have done in the future. Mm hmm. Mariam is typing. Future plans. Uh, we can't really use it for plans. No, not for plans exactly. The best answer is, uh, we also talked about that, several, let me wait, let me wait for uh, the people who are typing. To talk about a plan should be done before another plan in the future, this is better. Prediction, we don't really predict. We can say, but not exactly about work, I mean mission for future in big company, uh-huh. Very good, or in one word we can say, deadlines. We use future perfect when we want to promise or talk about deadlines in other words 
we use so let me highlight deadlines here we use it to talk about actions or events that will have been completed at a specific time or before another future event or a specific time again for example the project you say i will have done the project by i don't know tomorrow means tomorrow if you ask me have you done the project i said yes i have done the project let me explain it better for example september for example you're supposed to hand in your project for example this time you, uh, you say i will have done it for example the project by september now for example we are in i don't know june right now after a period of time when it's september now you say i have done the project i have done the project but right now you're talking about future you said i will have done the project by june so for this situation we can use here is the structure let me check the chat hello naru i'm doing fine thank you plan something next day next day or not just i mean next day next week next month next years next centuries whatever future life uh-huh the project will be completed before the future moment very good very good and we can also say like this the project will have been done is passive if you know passive the verb yeah the third part of the verb or we call it past participle or pp some people call it so subject for example i this is the formula we use will then we use have for anything we say he will have she will have we don't say she will has that's wrong she will have david will have ryan and jack will have why why don't we use has who can tell me let me ask this question it's a bit tricky why don't we use has in present perfect we say he has done for example he i don't know she has a study but here we say he will have a study not he will has why has is used in present tense so so this is perfect future perfect he has a study for english american no no because the structure so okay what is what do you mean because of the structure what's wrong with this structure this question is a bit tricky but it's a very nice question just pay attention to the sentence pay attention carefully in what situations we don't use has we don't use does we don't use for example goes has it for present no no have has for perfect situations we can use he has for example done something on the second place no come on it's very easy what is will what is will So, okay, has is for he, she, it, yes, but we say he will have. Modal verb, very good. After modal verbs, can we use uh, the, the S for third person singular? Can we say he can swims or he can swim? He can study or he can studies? They, he might go or he might goes? Which one? Did you, did you get it? So, because of will, he might go. No, we say he might go. The first, uh -huh, we say he can swim. Jack can run. We don't say Jack can run. After modal verbs, we use base forms. We use bare infinitives. We don't include the S. So, that's the reason. So, with any subject you have, you say will have. Then we use, as our friend said, the third part or past participle, both of them. Then the object. For example, the project, then by time. This is very important. We use by here. 
by June, by September, by two o'clock, by tomorrow, by this afternoon, by, I don't know, for example, 2025, anything, plus by. That would be the structure. I will have done the project by June. Means when we reach June, you say, I have done the project. Will use in future present, uh-huh. Oh, get it. What are the modal verbs? Like can, could, shall, should, may, might. Different things. Achieving something, very good. Achieving something, but uh, with a deadline. Not forever. You have a limit. You have a period of time, like a limitation. Until that time... For example, you are allowed to do something, not after it. For example, your teacher says, just for example, until that period of time. After that, if you send your homework after that, I will not accept it. So that's a deadline. So, okay, don't worry, sir. I will have done my homework by, for example, next week. Means not after that. We can say. So we have some basic examples. I will have done the project by June. He will have got ready. He will have got ready by the time we arrive. Means when we arrive, he is ready. Or she will have prepared dinner when my meeting is over. For example, my meeting finishes at 10. That time the food is ready. She will have prepared. They will have finished their homework by 10 p.m. tonight. Means 11 p.m. everything is okay 10 p.m. everything is okay they have done their homework here are some basic example is it right to say before next week before next week we can say but it's very common and very standard to use by by next week it's much better it means until that time within all of them are saying one thing they will have done it before next week. It's much better. It's much better and more common to say buy something in terms of grammar. But within next week, I don't know, before next week, until next week, you are conveying your message. But it's much better to use buy. So let's stop here. Now I want you, every one of you, to create a sentence, make an example. I will have done the project by June. You say something. You can say, I will have bought an, I don't know, a PS5 by 2026. Hmm? I will have something. Let's make some examples. That's the key to success. Don't just sit there behind your computer just listening to me. Do something. Write, type. Sometimes we will have uh, some... In some classes, I will enable microphones. You can talk, you can speak. Right now, let's just chat it again. Again, for those who are new who have just joined, if you are looking to download this PDF, my PDF for free, and many other PDFs and videos for free, make sure to join my Telegram channel. Everything there is absolutely free. So far, I have 60 different materials for different grammar topics and other things. Make sure you join and share it with your friends so they can grow with you too. Let's see, I will have done my bachelor degree before 2026. By, let's use by now. By 2026, very good. I will have graduated from a school by 2025. Perfect, I will have gotten richer than Elon Musk. Uh-huh, that's great, perfect. You can say gotten. And got the difference who knows before I say what's the difference I have got I have gotten what's the difference I've got I have gotten Golden is passive, American, very good, perfect, Geely's, yes, very good. Normally in American English we say I have got, get, got, got. In British English, 
get got gotten normally using I've gotten for example because they also have I've got instead of I have a car they say I've got a car so they don't want to confuse two different topics I've got them both of them are correct Mr. Umar will have finished leading this country by 2025 okay what country flow Mariam I will have finished my project roughly uh, by next month mm -hmm. I will have finished my university studies very good complete internship program so I will have completed the internship program by December which program Andrea there are so many programs in the world which one so use that I will complete my homework no I will have I will have completed okay see I will have traveled to Saudi Arabia nice very good perfect let's move on uh -huh. about the auxiliary verb have we use have or has as auxiliary verbs in perfect tenses but in the future tense we only use the base form have why here it is since we use will since we use will and you know after will we do not say has because it's a moral verb for example she will have applied by January not she will has applied that's wrong Jack will have done not will has done make sure you say it correctly don't make this mistake any questions no if you have a question type it down will or L so you know it's pretty obvious we can use contractions subject plus will you can sh shorten them into L for example she'll hmm? she, she will she'll they will they'll I will I'll I'll talk to him I'll have done I'll have done the project by June she'll have done they will have for example discovered the cure by 2025 for example it's much better why because it helps you to speak let's say more fluently you know in, in daily spoken English we try to it'll it'll we can say if it's if you want to say it will it'll have done it'll it'll have done for example uh, in daily spoken English you shouldn't speak very slowly you know no, normally even most most of all uh, let's say mostly native speakers they speak fast so you cannot say I will have done the project by June no you should be fast I'll have done the project by June there are so many things you can see on Instagram they're saying for example I don't know uh, have to let's say have to one to wanna I don't know did you understand did you understand there are so many tips for this for this part in this actually case we can say con the con using the contractions on the other hand there are two ways we can use contractions for negative forms negative means he will not hmm? he will not so subject apostrophe not apostrophe not or subject won't for example you will not you can say you'll not or you won't you won't is more common you won't we won't sh she won't you can say she'll not he'll not but he won't she won't is more common I'll not or I won't negation to negate something means to make something negative for example we talked about affirmative and positive sentences yes what about negatives we simply add not to our modal verb will I will not have done my project he won't have got ready by the time we arrive she'll not have prepared for example uh, your sentences you sent in the chat let's just make them negative for example Flo said mr. Omar will have finished make it negative flow or other all of you your sentences just make them negative do not change them this is the point don't change anything just make them negative and use contraction don't say I will not make the contraction form 
and use it. For example, I won't. I'll not. Aha, uh -huh. Alexi fixed that. Perfect. Let's do it together. Andrea, Mariam, and other people. Those who are watching us. Be sure to be a part of us. I won't finish. No, 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 no. I won't finish. No. I won't have finish. Here. He won't have got. She'll not have prepared. They will not have finished. We are we are using pre future perfect, not future simple. Uh, I won't have finished. Now, Naru, the third part, past participle, have finished. Such a long time. Yeah, I won't have finished my project by. Mm hmm. Uh, actually, my, you know, uh, I told you guys, Discord is banned in Veralive in my country, Iran. And we are using a VPN. My VPN actually didn't work that time. And I had so many connection issues. I could disconnect it during the classes. So that wasn't really professional. So I just decided to pause uh, and have the classes until I find a better one. Recently, I found a better one. I hope it works. So far, so good. But thanks. Mr. Omar will not have finished. Uh huh. I won't have finished eating by that time. I won't have graduated. Very good. I will not have finished. Perfect. You know, it's very easy to make a sentence negative. But it could be a bit tricky because some of you actually made this mistake. You use will, then not, then have, then past participle. Many people uh -huh, here. The note is important for advanced students. Using have not or its other forms is considered grammatically correct, but awkward and, unco and uncommon in its phrasing because of the use of double negatives. Therefore, it is better to say will not rather than have not. Some people say, teacher, let's keep will and negate have. For example, I won't have done. Say, no, no, wait, wait. Let's say, I will haven't done. Hmm? In present perfect, let's say I haven't done. He hasn't. They haven't. She hasn't. We use hasn't, haven't. Let's keep it. Let's say I will haven't done the project by June. I said this is, we can say grammatically correct, but it's awkward. It's uncommon. Let's say, so we can say even it's old. We no longer use it. And it's not very common to use. We negate the first, the first verb we see. The first verb, Jacob requested to speak. So Jacob, please wait. When, uh, when we are done, then I will give permission to anyone who has a question. Then you can ask. Okay, Jacob, let's keep the class or just type it or wait. After the teaching part, you can ask me. I hope they won't do anything to you because you are using... Yeah, I hope. Ah, uh -huh, no, 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 not like that. It's very common here. Hopefully, you will not have had connection. Yeah, hopefully. I will not have prepared. Uh, two exam where you can say, I will have not prepared for the exam. So, usually we negate. We negate. Negation. Negation is a noun. Negate is the verb. We negate the first verb. Perfect. Very good. We always make changes to the first verb we see. In a sentence. Let me just ask you one question. Is my voice clear? Am I breaking up or no? It's working perfectly. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, clear. Perfect. Thank God. Thank goodness. So, let's move on. Uh -huh. Now we want to make questions. Okay, we learned affirmative means positive and negative perfectly. Great. What about questions? Okay. We make question with will. Again, I told you, the first verb you see, you do anything with that. A same as question with modal verbs. For example, I will go, will I go? He will come, will he come? They will leave, will they leave? Then change will with the subject. For example, she will have done it by tonight. She will. Very simple. Just change. Huh? Invert them. Will she? Have done it by tonight. They'll have finished their homework by tomorrow afternoon. 
Will they? Will they have finished their homework by tomorrow afternoon? Very easy. Just change will with the subject. You start with the will. If you are going to ask a question, or we also call it interrogative, interrogative sentences. Will you be my friend? For example, yeah, no, nope, it's clear, perfect. Will my correction have been corrected? Mm -hmm. You can say, will my mistakes, very good, have been corrected by the end of this day, very good. or by the end of the day? The day is more common. Will you have come? Will you have come? Mm -hmm. Well, will I have finished my homework? You can ask yourself. That's correct grammatically. But technically, why would you ask yourself? Hmm, you know, why should you ask a question? But you can do that. That's fine. Will you come tomorrow? No. Will you come tomorrow? It's simple. Will you come means do you want to come? Do you, in, do you have the intention? No. Will you have come? For example, by the time we start the meeting. For example, will I have done my bachelor degree by 2023? Uh -huh. For example, you are thinking about your future. You say, oh, will I have done my bachelor degree by 2026? Well, I think so. For example, I have two years more, something like that. I think it's more like self-talk. We can say, grammatically, that's correct. Grammatically, that's correct. By time, it is used to specify the future point when the action will be completed. We can use by time phrase at the beginning with a comma or at the end of a sentence without a comma. We can use dates, years, month, days, hours, minutes, seconds, anything, adverbs or phrases. For example, I will have done it by September. She will have finished by tonight. They will have arrived by the time we leave. He will have joined the company by Monday. David will check will have checked if the car is locked by 5 p.m. They will have discovered the cure by 2025. And he will have been promoted by January 20. For example, the 25, 23, or the 5th of January. Anything you can include. Before we go uh, for Future Perfect Continuous, I want you to use, you, you wrote some sentences. Yes, you make them negative. The sentences, you negated them. Now, make questions. Hmm? The same sentences. The same sentences. Make them questions. Turn them into questions. For example, I will have graduated. Will I have graduated by something? Let's do it. Let's practice this together. Uh, Ryu, R-Y-W, I saw you raise your hand. If you want to talk, let's just wait after this part. When I finish teaching, I will give permission to every one of you to ask your questions. Just, again... Those who joined us, because every time, a bit lagging, okay, because uh, anytime there are new people joining us, make sure to uh, join our Telegram channel for free materials. There are so many free materials, so far 60 free materials, uh, actually, here on my Telegram channel, join and share with your friends, we also have a discussion uh, group, you can talk about different things. But, will I have finished my project by next month? Uh, subject plus will have plus children. What do you mean, Jilly's? Next, she will have a studying. You mean, she will have a studying. Is it correct? Will I have been able to speak English correctly before next year? Mm-hmm. Will I have been? By next year, by the next year is better. I have a question. Is there an ebook I can download that you get it for grammar questions so I can practice? Yes. Yes, there are so many ebooks. Well, I mean, it depends on your level, first of all. But generally, I suggest Grammar and Use series. Grammar 
in use series means what it have we have grammar in use essentials essential grammar in use intermediate I don't know the beginner advanced with different colors based on your level you can download them or there are so many things we have grammar digest which is very advanced we have uh, if I'm not mistaken English practical in use practical English in use by Michael Sh uh, Swan I cannot remember the name exactly there are so many uh, Mariam search one page for example it is the teaching part the other page there are some exercises actually I have some uh, YouTube videos explaining and teaching uh, this book grammar and use I think intermediate or essential or not or advanced I'm not sure which one just check my YouTube channel for more ideas but I thought you asked how to form the future uh -huh, how to form mm -hmm. so you are missing one thing Gilles you are missing one little tiny but important thing yeah sure if you click on my profile you can find my YouTube or my telegram but future perfect continuous now I have a question how can we form a future perfect continuous sentence I will have done is the simple form future perfect or future perfect simple I will have done my project by job. We're going to talk about continuous forms. Uh -huh. Aquama says, I will have been. Nope. No, no, that's not correct. I will have been. No. I will have is correct then. I will have to be Jeron. No. For, for example, I will have is what? I will have to be playing. No. Nope. So before we talk about the form, before we talk about the formula, let's talk about the meaning. What does it mean, future perfect continuous? What does it mean? When do we use it? Why do we use it? What does it mean? Let's talk about this together. When did we start? 125. Okay, it's been almost 30 minutes. Ah, uh, several people. I love that. Make sure you are interacting. Make sure you are typing. Be active here. When do we use future perfect continuous? When? Don't give me examples. Give me explanations. When do we use it? Why do we use it? I will have been carrying out my studies abroad. I will be waiting. Mm hmm. To say something we should have been doing at a specific time. Mm -hmm. When we're doing something again, we'll be ended at a specific time. Uh huh. Anyone else? So, future perfect continuous describes an ongoing, an ongoing action that will continue up until a specific point in the future. Let's talk about myself. Hmm? I started teaching, I think two years ago, yeah, 2023. One year ago, yeah, a year ago, we can say. I mean, yeah, let's say one year ago. So, let's say in the next 10 years, huh? 2034. Imagine now is 2033, okay? One of you asked me, teacher, how long have you been teaching? I said, oh, I started teaching, for example, that time I have been. I have been teaching for 10 years. Right now, I am going to talk about future, okay? I'm talking about that moment you will ask me so now I say I will have been teaching English for 10 years I've been teaching English for 10 years by 
2033. It means when we reach 2033, I can tell you, hey guys, I've been teaching English for 10 years. Now I'm talking about that moment in the future. This is the major use of future perfect continuous. Uh, can you hear me? Can you hear me? So what happened? Oh, okay. I think we got disconnected. I didn't realize I was talking. We now hear you. So uh, let me repeat, okay? Omar, wait, please. Let me repeat. I said, now, now it's 2024. Let's imagine that now is 2033. Okay, we can imagine that. Now is 2033. I say, guys, I have been teaching English for 10 years. 2033. I've been teaching English for 10 years. But we are not in 2023, are we? I'm going to talk about that future moment right now. Hmm? Is that possible? Yes. So I say, guys, I will have been teaching English for 10 years by 2033. The sentence here. I will have been teaching English for 10 years by 2033. It means when we reach, when we arrive here, when we reach 2033, I can say, guys, listen, I've been teaching English for 10 years. This is the most use of, the major use of this grammar topic. Did you, did you hear me well? Did you get that? Because many people are struggling nowadays. They're struggling with this grammar topic. Like, when can I use, I don't know, uh, future perfect, continuing, think like that. Yeah, point taken, perfect, aha. Uh -huh. So Omar, if you have a question, you can raise your hand. But he got it. Yeah, very good. But let's have some examples. Uh -huh, I said that. Oh, very good. I will have been teaching English for 10 years by 2032, 2032, 33, something like that. By 2025, uh -huh, this time I'm bringing it in the first part of the sentence. By 2025, comma. This comma is very important. They will have been producing new medicines. They will have been producing new medicines. I will have been studying for three hours by 9 p.m. Right now it's 6 p.m. Now it's 6 p.m. Now, you are setting goals. You are setting your alarm, for example. Okay, okay, I want to study for three hours. For example, studying chemistry. So, by 9 p.m., I will have been studying for three hours. That's great. I can make my day productive. Something like that. So it shouldn't be about far future, like 10 years, 20 years, no. Even three hours, even one minute. She will have been working at Google for almost 18 years. By 2028. Or by 2099, robots will have been controlling humans. Fortunately or unfortunately. Sweet dreams. Ah, I will have been in a relationship with... Who is that person by 2027? Okay, I don't know that person, so I didn't get your meaning, but I wish you the best. <laughs> but uh, so now let's make so you know how to make it negative. I will have been, I will not have been, I won't have been. That doesn't matter. Just negate the first sentence, just make the question with the first sentence. I will have been teaching, I will not, or I won't have been teaching English for 10 years by 2032. Will I? Will I have been teaching English for 10 years by 2032? Will they have been producing new medicines by 2025? Hmm? Or what do you think? What do you think? Will robots have been controlling humans by 20, 2099? For example, you can ask like that. I'll have been learning in music, no. I'll, uh, I'll have been learning music for three years, 
by 2027. She's on oh, wrap up. Okay. I won't have been. I won't have been. Very good. Advanced tips for advanced students. These points can help you use this better. Use the future perfect to speculate about future outcomes. Use this to let's one of she said predictions. I don't know who said predictions at the very beginning. You can say like that. By the time the next election comes around, election for like presidents presidency, like to become a president, for example. By the time the next election comes around, the party will have gained significant support. That's what that's uh, what we estimate, what we predict based on our data and analysis, for example. So you can say that by the by the time the next election comes around. Also here, because we have a time clause by time something, we use simple present simple present. By the time the next election comes, not will come, by the time the next election comes around, the party, it doesn't mean like a uh, party like you dance, you, I don't know, you drink, you have fun. No, not that party. It's political party. Political party. Like for example, Republicans, something like that. Use the future perfect, second one. Use the future perfect continuous to emphasize, means to bold something. The continuous nature of an action. By the time I finish this project, I will have been working on it for three weeks. That's a lot. You are emphasizing. You can use, you can use for and since to indicate the duration. It's very basic for even for present perfect. We have it. I will have been studying for six hours, four by nine p.m. Since I have a big here since means because. Since I have means because, but you can say I will have been studying since three hours by nine p.m. But it's more common. It's much more common to use four. I have been studying English for six hours by nine p.m. If you want to indicate the duration of action, I will have been learning English with New Harvard a uh -huh, hundred years. Oh, that's great. I don't think I'll last that much, but good, good, thank you, thank you. And are we just remember? Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, so examples. Uh, there are so many examples, I think 40. Uh, I just wrote some examples here. The bold ones are advanced. Those written in bold are advanced examples. If you want, again, new people, if you want to download Check, check. Hello, hello. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know, it happens for a couple of seconds. I'm sorry for that. You know, it's my hands are tight. Is that my and my end? But welcome back. Yeah, so I was saying, uh, so I have 40, 40 examples. 40 examples here. You can just learn, you can just get some ideas. Yeah, I understand, thank you. If you want for, just for those who joined us, if you want to download these PDFs for free and other PDFs, I have so many grammar PDFs, make sure to join my Telegram channel. We also have a discussion group talking about some, uh, yeah, I stopped, I stopped sharing because that's that's all actually. Uh, I st also, I st stopped it so I can, you can hear me better, but we actually finished that part. 
so yes i highly recommend that you guys join this this is absolutely free and there are so many materials pdf videos also i'll be recording this uh class so uh -huh, let me use this by tomorrow i will have uploaded the youtube video the video on youtube i will have uploaded so i use the grammar you have just learned today huh what's better so you know it's practical you can use it in your entire life but thank you everybody thank you so uh, those who were those who used to follow me they know that we usually have classes on Friday on Fridays yeah uh, but I may change that so I'll uh, I will run a poll on my telegram channel make sure to uh, I should to do that what time is good is better for you all so check the telegram channel there is no yeah thank you so much so thank you everybody our class is over i hope you found it useful it's been almost 45 minutes the grammar topic wasn't really hard i have other topics that would take us even 90 minutes but thank you well oh, mercy thank you have a great day if you have any questions now is the time raise your hand you can ask on jojar yeah jojar and others thank you if you have any questions raise your hand I'll give you permission to use your mic. Otherwise, we can call it a day or maybe a night. I don't know. It depends on your time zone. For me, it's afternoon. No, not afternoon. It's like three. It's going to be afternoon. But thank you, everybody. Have a great day. Bye-bye.